and I'm beginning. I never thought it would be you when we were chilling, smiling in the photo booth. But we got closer. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, if you're watching me for the first time, I make videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle every Wednesday so if you're new to my channel then consider subscribing also press the bell notification down below uh, next to the subscribe button so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video also guys I just want to let you guys know that I'm shortly start starting my fall series I mean this is going to be my first video from the fall series and the next videos are going to be fall related the fashion the styles the DIYs the anything all the videos will be related to fall so make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out any new videos of mine also in this video I'm going to share with you four DIY ideas which are under a budget of rupees hundred yes it is under a budget of rupees hundreds mostly it is from the waist so yes uh, without any further ado let's get started for the first DIY I took a cardboard of 50 into 35 centimeter now obviously you can have it of any size whatever you are, uh, are comfortable with also I found these leaves from my backyard now I wanted the fall leaves but obviously it is not possible over here for the maple leaf, I took the image from Google and drew it, but you can also take a printout of it as a stencil. So the maple leaf, uh, we are going to use it as a stencil and we are going to spray paint it. Now for those who don't know what spray paint is, we take color, we dissolve it in water and then we use a toothbrush, dip the toothbrush in the water and uh, use our index finger for spraying it all over the place. So that is what exactly I'm doing all over here. I'm using the toothbrush, using my index finger and just uh, moving my fingers to um, ooze out the color from the toothbrush and it gets evenly spread on the paper. So that just will appear like small dots and uh, it will create a shaded kind of uh, image. So here once I finish spraying it on the paper what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the maple leaf uh, so that you get an image of a maple leaf without the spray paint part and voila our spray painted maple leaf is ready isn't that look so beautiful I also wanted to create a some part of shaded effect in the maple leaf so I went on spray painting it in one corner of the leaf and uh, ended up over there. And then in the end you can remove all the leaves and the whole picture looks like something like this. Now for the second DIY we are going to use same cardboard same size of cardboard and uh, also we are going to use some rose petals I had a uh, old rose so I used uh, the rose petals of those leaves and the leaf which we used it in the previous uh, DIY I used the same one now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread the rose leaves as well as the rose petals as well as the leaves evenly throughout the chart chart or uh, throughout the cardboard uh, evenly spaced with one another I'm just I'm just assembling the everything like this so that it appears evenly and uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to glue all the uh, the leaves as well as the rose petals on the chart and that's it isn't that so simple you can also use some 3d alphabets and write proverbs on the top of that and that will look very beautiful Now for the third DIY, I'm going to use this old frame from IKEA. I was in a total mode of giving it a makeover, so I decided to paint it. Now you can do this with any kind of frame. Just the you should keep only one thing in your mind that you should go for contrasting colors uh, on any kind of frame you have. Now you can also use spray paints for coloring this, and that was equally going to look more beautiful. 
so i just went on color uh, selected the red color and painted the frame red and really guys i didn't imagine but it turned out to be so beautiful you can literally see that Now coming to the fourth DIY, it's for the mason jars or particularly any kind of jars if you have. I had these lace and uh, ribbons of different colors so I used this for decorating these uh, mason jars. Uh, so what basically I did was I glued the ribbons and the laces and I stuck it on the mason jar to make it more attractive. Also the Christmas time as well as the winter time is coming so you can also use these mason jars for uh, putting candles or candies or you can just put whatever you want whatever is your liking and decorate in your homes and that is going to look more beautiful. So here I am sticking the, the lace on the mason jar slowly uh, and uh, after that I am going to make a, make a bow of the red ribbon and place it on the top to make it more uh, look representable as well as look beautiful. And that's it, our third DIY is ready. For the fourth DIY, I basically used the pictures from a waste calendar. And uh, we are also going to use some uh, lace, cello tape and a rod for hanging. I basically arranged the pictures how I wanted it to be and then I cut lace to attach to both the ends of the, both the uh, ends of the photos. Now here I am attaching the lace with the help of cello tape but it's not necessary that you, you need to use a lace itself but you can also use a thread or a wool or whatever is available. Uh, just to make it more attractive I use the lace and uh, that completely depends on you. Attaching all the laces it looks something like this and I'm going to repeat the same with the other two strands uh, and then we are going to hang it on the rod. Now here I have finished uh, attaching laces on all the pictures and now I'm making hooks for the rods to get inserted to it. So I'm going to make hooks on all the three uh, segments or columns whatever you call it as and in that uh, hook we are going to insert the rod. Seeing this DIY you must be thinking that it is literally time consuming and who is going to take so much of time to do this simple DIY but trust me guys it took me not more than 10 to 15 minutes I can say I literally needed 20, 10 to 15 minutes and I was done with this DIY this DIY is that simple Till here the DIY is done and it looks really very beautiful but then I had this special paper so I thought of attaching it on the rows of uh, on the, all the three rows to make it look more beautiful but this is completely optional you can go uh, till the previous one and it looks less something like this. So that's it guys I hope you like this video and if you happen to recreate any of these video do tag me on Instagram with the hashtag DIY with Pallavi and uh, yes definitely I will be taking their names in my next video. So do let me know in the comments down below which was your favorite DIY and um, yes like share comment and uh, yes subscribe to my channel. I'll meet you guys soon. Bye.